Hi, everyone. My name is Colby Jenkins. I'm an analyst with Tab Group here at 2019 Fixed Income Conference. I'm sitting with Vidya Garujo, uh, Product Manager for Fixed Income Trading and OTC Derivatives. Nice to have you here, Vidya. Very nice to so, be here. So uh, I think uh, some of the first questions we want to talk about is, as a vendor, you know, so what some are some of the trends you're seeing in the market today? Um, among the um, electronification of fixed income trading, the uh, regulatory changes that are expected to come down the pike, the LIBOR replacement, I would say the one trend that's grabbing our attention and requires our attention immediately is the downsizing that's happening in the fixed income trading world. Um, the size of the investment book stays the same, but we've seen a number of firms announce the downsizing in the size of their desks, which means the firms are expecting the traders to do more with less, and some of that um, means that uh, some of the work they used to do has to be offloaded to technology. Sure. So that's what's grabbing our attention the most at the moment. Okay. So what does this mean for you as a provider of a for order management system? Right. Quick correction. Charles River is uh, our order management and execution management okay. system uh, because we got connectivity directly to uh, dealers, uh, brokers, and also to uh, fixed income venues such that we could handle the execution directly from Charles River. Um, at the very minimum, what this means is that the firms are expecting the traders to focus more on high-risk orders and offload the low-risk, uh, low-touch orders to technology, and that's where vendors like ourselves and our systems come into play. Mm -hmm. First off, the system should have the capability to identify and group the what, what is considered to be low touch orders sure. right uh, but the most important thing there is every firm is going to have a different definition of what a low touch order means of course right? so you need to have to provide that flexibility mm -hmm. and we do that today the next step and taking it to the next stage you need to ab be able to recommend and suggest an execution strategy to the trader mm -hmm. right uh, whether it be um, where do you execute it in terms of what, where's the best venue that uh, liquidity is available for that bond? Uh, what's the best dealer to execute it with? Do you just send it off to a dark pool? And that's the kind of um, next phase that we're working on right now. Sure. Um, yeah, so, so what is the, I guess you'd say, the state of the market for you know, pre-trade data and fixed income? Right. And I mean, specifically, I guess, when dealing high-touch orders. Uh, varies by the asset class, mm -hmm. again, varies by how liquid the bond is, but you can say more and more data is available than before. Um, That's definitely true. <laughs> right, right. The key here is to understand that it's a changing landscape, which means that there are new providers and new liquidity pools available every day. We recognized that early on, and we made our solution fix compliant and made all the plumbing available such that a provider, if they're Flix compliant, mm -hmm. can plug right into Charles River. What okay. that means to our clients is they don't have to wait for Charles River to certify a new source, a new provider, mm -hmm. right? They can plug them in themselves and start testing. So we are constantly evaluating the different sources available, sure. prioritizing them based on our client feedback and certifying them. But all I'm saying is the clients don't have to wait for us to certify. They don't have to upgrade to a certain version to up to to play uh, to plug in a new source. Sure. As long as the source is fixed compliant, we have the plumbing available, they plug it in. So now the market data is available from different venues, mm -hmm. directly from dealers, to from different inventory aggregators. Right? right. So the way we help traders deal with these high touch orders is to take all this data, also take in the um, price history available from Trace and MSRB, mm -hmm. and then layer on top of that the firm's own trade history because we have that available in our sure. system and then based on that, recommend the best possible venue for the trader to go to to execute a particular order. Okay. Um, now the next step in, in this case, as well as the low-touch orders, is to introduce uh, the next level of automation. Mm -hmm. And what automation means is different from one firm to the other. Sure. Some firms don't want the, the uh, system to do anything on its own, right. whereas the other firms are very comfortable having Charles River just direct an order to right. a dark pool if it meets a certain criteria. Okay. Hmm. Well, then what would your perspective be, I suppose, on the, like the, the big proliferation of electronic trading venues we've been seeing? Right. Um, 
so many of the desks want to deal with four to five different venues, mm -hmm. or sometimes even more. Sure. Because each of these venues offers a particular protocol a partic for a particular type of asset class. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to uh, interact with more than three or four at a given time. But sure. there is a limited real estate in a, on a trader's monitor, so you cannot possibly log on to five, six por uh, portals at the same time and be interacting with all of them and watching all of them. So sure. what they're looking for, the firms and the trading desks, is a layer of abstraction and aggregation, such mm -hmm. that all this data is aggregated by their OEMS, or order management and execution management provider, mm -hmm. right, makes sense at all, of it all, put on a layer of analytics on it, again, as I was saying before, kind of recommendations on where best to execute an order based on current available liquidity, mm -hmm. past trade history, sure. and that, that's where we're going to, that's what we hear from um, all of our um, uh, clients. Sure. So proliferation, yes, it is um, a lot to handle, mm -hmm. but as long as you have the right infrastructure to be able to pull this all in and provide a layer of abstraction, I think it works well. Sure. Again, the same applies as I was talking about market data, the same applies for plugging in different trading venues. Yeah. We are fixed compliant as long as the trading venue that's uh, uh, come up and new in the marketplace is fixed compliant as well. Clients don't really have to wait for us to certify. We sure. do recommend waiting because we prioritize them in a certain mm -hmm. order. But if it is something very specific that they that very specific to their firm and the type of trading they do, they mm -hmm. don't have to wait for Charles server. They don't have to upgrade to a new version to plug that right. uh, venue in. Great. So I guess uh, the next question would be, it makes sense following on that theme of the proliferation of electronic trading venues and all this data that's coming out is, I guess any thoughts on um, you know the state of best execution and transaction cost analysis right. and how that plays a favorite this. topic in fixed yeah, trading right now. Um, I think the most important thing for us all um, in fixed income trading is to move away from comparing it with equity space. Mm -hmm. right? Equity is a very different type of trading and a very different animal, if, if I could say that, because there is real-time trade data available, mm -hmm. whereas liquidity scenario in fixed income space is very different. You cannot depend on uh, trade history as actively as you can with uh, equity trading. So mm -hmm. a lot of the, the metrics we would um, develop is based on composite pricing. I believe that we have sufficient data in the fixed income space today to build a good um, execution analysis uh, tool framework and also TCA to a point where it helps us get better and better at it. But we can never compare it with equity and say we don't have enough data available because it's never going to be the case. Sure. Right. Um, so. Um, I believe we have enough data. I believe uh, there is a very good level of uh, uh, analytics that technology can help provide and drive for uh, better executions. Sure. Well, that's great. Thanks okay. again. Thank so, you. Yeah. So um, this is Vidya Guruja, uh, product manager for uh, fixed income trading and OTC derivatives. We're here at the 2019 Tab Group fixed income event, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank thanks. you. Thanks.